what would happen if I drop my watch like this from a certain height? Hmm, well, let's do this. Thank God, my watch is safe. Let's understand the concept of physics behind this. I have tied one end of the string to my watch and the other end of the string to a circular coin and take a marker acting as a rod and make a setup like this. You might observe that the here the motion of the coin is circular motion. But why? Let's find out. When an object moves in a circular motion, its velocity v vector is represented by this symbol. And the force acting towards the center is like this. And this force is referred to as centripetal force. Here you can clearly see that the direction of velocity and force is perpendicular towards each other. That is why this type of motion is referred to as a circular motion. Let us understand the concept of the apparatus I have demonstrated in this particular experiment. I have taken marker as a rod here and attached a string one end of the string is attached to the coin and the other end of the string is attached to my watch which has a mass m. The weight of this particular watch is mg. Why I have taken this coin? Because as I drop it, it behaves like a simple pendulum and tries to move in this particular direction with velocity v vector. But here mg weight of my watch decreases the length by applying force on it. And here you can see that f and velocity v vector are perpendicular towards each other. Thus, it is a circular motion. But a string tied towards the marker continuously. And thus, my watch got saved. So here physics works. So I hope that you understand the concept of centripetal force. Thanks a lot for watching this particular video.